Jake's Creek Trail. Remember, if you find this phone and you see nine bags of bones laying around, that was us. So make sure that you take this phone back to somebody and, uh, you know, let them know that we're dead. And uh, other than that, you can keep the phone because I won't need it if you can find my bones there. All right. So we're going to try to find the advent cabin. I'm not filming all the way. Uh, just bits here and there, but I am going to try to show you where the... Uh, the steps that go down to the cabin are. Don't know if we'll find it. Over here, are some of the places that they've took out. There's part of their old fence that they used to have around there. <laughs> Of course, we could find that cabin first and then come back to these. Here's a bunch more of the chimneys. Uh, that one still has the uh, antenna <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you can still watch TV here, but you have to bring your own TV and electricity. And there's some more of the chimneys out there. Now, is these the houses that they took down there? Nope. So, these, these got destroyed where they're at. Okay. There's only one that they kept up this way. So all these chimneys that's left standing, they destroyed all the houses and just left their chimneys. Now this was Elkmont. Uh, A lot of people from Knoxville come here to like summer homes for vacation and whatnot. And they had built these up in here over the years. And then the National Park bought it. And uh, they made different deals with them so that they could live here. And then after they passed away, the National Park got them back. But then, what was the National Park done to these? They made the deal with the people that could live here as long as they lived, but then they done something to them. Uh, they basically said, uh, well, we have the lease to them, so get out. They basically kicked them out after a certain time because I guess they were living too long. I don't know. That's when the real was uh, 80 or 90 year old uh, caretaker of it. Yeah. The caretaker was the last one to go. He was 80 or uh, between 80 and 90 years old. But you can still see the chimney standing and little trails here and there. And I'm going to pause for a little bit and we'll let you join us up on up the trail. <laughs> 